Hey YouTube, Hoosier Hunter again. This small package here is the Sika incinerator bibs. If you want to know more about it, stay tuned. So I figured there was probably quite a few people out there that were like me whenever I was looking uh, rather to purchase the Fanatic bibs or the incinerator bibs. I found a lot of uh, maybe write-ups on the incinerator bibs, but I didn't find a whole lot of detail as far as hands-on reviews, uh, maybe some close-up pictures um, throughout my research when trying to make that decision. So I figured I would put together a quick review, uh, give you guys an update on this, how I've utilized them so far, what I like about it, maybe what I don't like about it. I've used them on probably five or six hunts so far this year. It hasn't been real cold here in Indiana, but it is a little more versatile than I thought it would be. I was thinking it was just going to be four extremely cold sets, but I've used them in the mid-30s down to uh, probably the upper teens so far. Um, so we'll go into a little more in-depth, show you some close-ups of the zippers um, and the pockets and the material that it's made out of and see what you guys think about it. has the uh, Primaloft insulation which I will show you a close-up here in just a second as well as the Gore-Tex membrane um, on the outside which is weather and windproof which is real nice on those misty mornings or just during rain itself uh, I did wear these one morning when it was probably 15, 16 mile per hour wind. And I wouldn't say an all out rain, but it was a pretty steady, steady drizzle all morning. And um, they performed very well. Um, my under uh, base layer stayed completely dry. Uh, no rain water came through them whatsoever. So I was very impressed with that. I'll show you guys a close up here of the Primaloft. You can tell it's kind of that, I just call it that poofy type stuff. Um, pretty thick insulation. Real nice and comfortable. Um, while I'm in here, go ahead and show you. As we know, Sitka is about, you know, being the athletic fit. Um, I wouldn't call it a tight fit, but just firm. So there's no loose, baggy clothing, uh, rather, you know, walking to the stand or while you're in the stand, you don't want to have anything extra baggy, uh, especially during bow season. But this here is like a internal belt system. It's just simple Velcro. This belt runs all the way through right here on the back side. You can see along this the seam here. I mean, it's not visible, but you can tell where the stitching is. But the tighter you get that around you and fit to your body type, the more snug your bibs are going to be on you. Once again, so there's just no excess uh, material, you know, kind of waving around in the wind. So I thought that was very nice. Um, well, I'm on the inside here, so this would be the front, and I'll put these on in just a second to uh, give you guys an idea of what they look like and how easy they are to get on and off and use the zipper system. But that's the front. Flip it around here. This is nice for, be right over the top of your heart. So this nice zipper here for one of those larger size um, hand warmers. Just drop that right in there and that'll help keep your core much warmer if you need that. These are already pretty dang warm so I'm not going to need a whole lot more warmth, but for those extra chilly mornings, that might come in handy. So I slid my nice uh, $5 card table out of the way so I could actually put these on, give you guys an idea how quick and easy they are to get on, and then show you the zipper system on it. I'll show you how I wear them in. Um, this leg is how it would normally be, you know, fully zipped up. But what I've done is I took this zipper and just unzipped it 
all the way up to about my hip. And then the nice thing about this is it has this nice uh, button here. So this is snaps and that would snap right over the top of your boot so there's no extra loose material just hanging around, you know, flopping in the wind or, um, you know, getting jumbled up in between your legs while you're walking. That button, that snap, keeps it in place. Alright, I got that zoomed in a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see it. But this would just, your boot would be right here. You just take this and snap it in place. That keeps it sturdy and gives you good mobility. You can see that wide open there so you get good ventilation. And the nice thing about these bibs, it's got this stretchy part right here, which I like, but you can also unzip from the top down. So like I say, you can you know, unzip this from the top down to where it meets this bottom zipper, which is up by my hip. So you've got all the bottom open, then you would have all the top open. You know, just good, complete ventilation. You could do the same to the other side, which I haven't done here, but that's what it looks like zipped all the way up. Uh, On to the pockets. So up top, you've got that inside pocket that I showed you earlier, which is right here. Put that extra hand warmer in there, whatever you need to. And then these hand warmer pockets are nice for walking in. It's got the thick, um, it's almost like the Fanatic beanie lining. Real thick, real comfortable. Keeps your hands nice and warm. Uh, on down to the bottom. Has hand pockets on each side with zippers. Car keys, cell phone, whatever you need to put there. And then onto the cargo pockets or side of the leg pockets. It's got your main compartment here. And then like Sicko usually does, has a zipper on the outside with another pocket over the top of the cargo po pocket. And then here is your nice handy grunt tube pocket. Uh, good depth for that. Handles the grunt tube just fine. And these of course have uh, snaps buttons. And then same thing with the other side, just doesn't have the grunt tube pocket. It's kind of a idea on the size of that. You see how far my hand goes in there. Those do get just a little bit tight, I would say, whenever you're uh, setting down in the stand. But it's nothing to be real concerned about. I was just kind of comparing them to how my Stratus pants were. Stratus pants, they were a little bit, a little bit more baggy right there. But with as thick as these are, I can understand why it needs to be that snug. Uh, so that's pretty well it for the pockets. Very well thought out design. One other thing I forgot to show you, which I figured everyone would assume would be uh, the bottom part of this main zipper. So you got this zipper, of course. Once that's zipped up, you got easy access down here with the bottom zipper in case you need to take a leak. So if you've got your coat on over the top and this is all zipped up and you don't want to, you know, dig past your mid layers, uh, you can keep this one zipped up and then just use the access zipper down here at the bottom. Very handy, very well thought out. Uh, these things are very warm. I've got blue jeans on, wearing these inside, so I'm starting to sweat a little bit. So I'm going to get these off and then show you how well these things pack up and the system that they put in place to uh, help with that and keep everything retained and keep it tight. So lastly, I would like to show you the retaining system that this has uh, to keep everything bound up real nice so you can put it on the back of your pack or just carry it in by hand rather than having to wear it in if you choose uh, to just pack it in then put it in put it on at your site so I want to show you this up close if you in case you can't see it when I get back there but there's a very small pocket here you'll notice a, a little bitty uh, plastic clasp 
And then on the inside is this long uh, lashing system, I guess you would call it, with the male end there that would go into the female end. So here you have the bibs laid out front facing up. What I do is I just make sure I take the suspenders themselves and just kind of throw them inside, tuck them inside. And I make sure the leg zippers are all zipped up. It makes it a little bit easier. And the armpit zippers are zipped up. You just take it, fold it in half, and then do your do the top last. You don't have to get real fancy. You just take it and start folding up, kind of like a sleeping bag. Make sure this is unfastened. Take that, wrap it around itself. Snap that together. And then just cinch it down. And those big old bibs just turned into that little sleeping bag. Uh, you can, you know, do a little bit better job. Make sure that's tucked in if you need to, but it's honestly not a big deal. But that's it right there. That's how small it can get. So that's it, guys. That's the Sitka incinerator bib. Um, I actually use this with the Fanatic jacket. Um, I haven't tried the incinerator jacket. I think I might in the future though. The Gore-Tex is really nice um, and this isn't as loud as what I thought it would be. I was mainly concerned about this being a little more noisy than what the Fanatic might be. But I don't think I would have any concerns with uh, you know drawing a bow back or any sort of movement in the tree stand with the incinerator set with the Gore-Tex membrane. Uh, very happy with these so far. It's a great combo with the Fanatic jacket. Does very well. Um, just want to help you guys out a little bit. Hopefully help you guys you know make up your mind, help you with your decision making process. Um, if there's anything else you guys want just make sure and ask questions in the comments below. I try to answer every question that anybody uh, does ask me take the time and help a, another hunter out if I can. So uh, if you can, subscribe to the page, like this video, and I hope to do more Sitka videos in the future, as well as any other thing related to hunting or shooting in general. Um, and also, feel free to comment below if you guys would like me to uh, review any other Sitka pieces. I don't have it all, but I have quite a bit of the whitetail lines, so... Like I say, just trying to help another person out if I can, and uh, very happy with this and most other sick of pieces. So, good luck this year, guys, and uh, let me know if you have.